All right, it's Joe Bruin here with All Access Entertainment here with the one and only Jason Marsden and it's Rhode Island Comic Con, the 10th anniversary. Uh, what's the whole weekend been? We're closing out now. There it is, the guest pass. Those are not easy to come by. It's true, it's true. <laughs> but you are a guest. For this. And you're one of the great guests here this weekend. <laughs> so what was it like meeting your fans and uh, being a part of the 10th anniversary? It's amazing. I love uh, meeting everybody. I, I'm actually from here, oh, wow. from Rhode Island, from Warwick. So it's it's like a home it's like homecoming. You can see my family, get to meet the folks who are like appreciative of like a goofy movie and and uh, the '90s television and all that. And uh, and I, I love it. It's a great time. I'm still like the the energy level. It's Sunday, so the energy level is like like on the bars on your phone. It's going down a little right. bit, but I'm still I'm still psyched. <laughs> so for you personally, you know, how did you first get involved in the whole world of acting? I was uh, I was 12. I was adorable at the time. Uh, we moved to California, my parents and I, and it was suggested to them uh, that you should get your child into acting. He's he's cute. He fits a, a, a look. And they uh, they sent me to a workshop. After 12 weeks, that workshop sent me to an agent. Uh, the agent signed me that day and immediately started sending me out on auditions. And uh, you know, it, it, it's it's a lot of uh, like 99% rejection, really. In the business, but I was I was fortunate to book a lot of things, and it just kept uh, you know kept steamrolling uh, ahead. And you've done so much of both. When it comes to television and voice acting, what are the main differences? Obviously, not being on screen, but um, for you personally, just uh, well, but the difference between on camera and voiceover. Uh, voiceover, you don't have to memorize any lines. So you're not agonizing, trying to memorize monologues and stuff like that. Right. Uh, but with on camera, you get to you know wear costumes. You get to really like move around. Uh, there's there's pros and cons of both really, but but the pros always outweigh the cons. I, it, both to me, it's it's they both require performance. They both require acting, and I, I love acting whether it's behind the mic or in front of the camera. And when it comes to your voice characters that you've done, do you have a favorite? Anything stand out? It's like picking your favorite child. Okay, I, I have get one, it. so that's easy. But like it, it, each each job I've done represents a specific experience uh, you know with different people you work with and they all mean something very very different uh, but there are, but I, a lot of highlights for each one we'd be here all day and in closing uh, step by step boy meets world yes. what was it like working with those casts oh my gosh uh, loved it uh, boy meets world was wonderful I got to solidify a friendship with will Friedell, uh who I played his friend on the show um, step by step you know they they welcome me like, they were on like five seasons before they had me join the cast, and they welcomed me like I was there since day one. And it was just a blast. It was a true family environment, and, and uh, I'm so I was grateful, grateful, still grateful. Awesome, that's great to hear. And how can fans follow you? They can follow me by uh, finding where I live. When I go out the house, just walk me down the street. I'm kidding. Don't go into my house. Uh, they can follow me at Jason Marsden on Instagram. It's the best way to follow me over there. Awesome, Jason. Yeah. Thanks so much for taking the time. You bet. It's the 10th anniversary. Hope to see you next time. Happy 10 years, Rhode Island Comic Con.